a pregnant woman should fast on Tisha B'Av. There really is, is no reason today that a pregnant woman should not fast if she's healthy and if the pregnancy is as it should be then there's no reason that a person would not be able to fast for one 24-hour period even if that person is pregnant on the other hand you should not you should make sure not to find yourself out in the sun in the heat of the day because even a person who is healthy will feel the thirst because of the fact that he's losing water in the sun. So a pregnant woman can fast. A pregnant woman should fast. A pregnant woman should stay out of the sun in order to make it possible for to pass the day without drinking any water. Of course, this is with the condition that she's healthy and that all is well. If there's a problem, and or if a doctor says she should not fast, then the problem should be reconsidered and brought to a to a Rav. It is true that Rav Yisrael Yaakov Fisher, who was the Dayan of the Bezdin, the Badatz in Yerushalayim, in his Chuvot, in his Chuvot, said that a pregnant woman never has to fast on Tisha B'Av. And so I can't avoid mentioning his position. He was a great Talmud Chochem and accepted the responsibility for the thousands who asked him, who asked him Shilas. And so um, there is an opening for a heter, for someone who feels uh, unwell, poorly, nervous, frightened, uh, but generally speaking, my position is that there's no reason that a woman, even a pregnant woman, should not fast. It's also true that women who are breastfeeding should fast on Tisha B'Av, just as they fast on Yom HaKippurim. However, some posts can say that if the woman feels weak or unable to breastfeed, or she sees that her, her milk is not, is not coming, uh, then she may drink and also perhaps eat uh, in order to avoid in order to avoid this problem. Um, the, the difference seems to be between what I would call a regular situation, a regular healthy woman, and a woman who happens to have uh, some sort of a problem. Uh, some women uh, can, can prepare milk in advance, breastfeeding women, so that if they uh, don't have enough milk on Tish Abba'av, they can supplement it with the milk that they prepared in advance. But Me'ikar Adin, Me'ikar Adin, it seems to me that the obligation to fast devolves equally upon men and women who were equally distressed by the destruction of the Beit HaMikdash and for whom the Avelut of the day is meaningful in equal, in equal portions.